Hey friends, it's Chloe with Chloe's Color for Plans. Today we're going to put together my fitness spread for the week of August 15th. And I've taken these super cute printable stickers from Crafty Planner Queen. And then I pulled a bunch of these for some boxes and such. <laughs> Hoping to put this together pretty quickly, but you never know what happens, you know, <laughs> or what may happen. Uh, let's see. So what did I pull this one for? I think I liked how this pink was gonna go and it's kind of a, a little digital detox challenge, which I think would be good for this week. Um, so we definitely wanna do that. And then I tried to keep it, uh, see I kind of pulled these in the dark, so I don't know how much the colors are gonna be good or not. This one would be good. I love these little things. I think I'm almost out of them, which is sad, but it is what it is. And then I don't know why I pulled this one. Maybe the yellow? Or perhaps the blue. I like the yellow, but I don't know that it's, I think it's too, oh, well, this could be good. Okay, it's going to be a very colorful spread, apparently. And then, what, what did I, I saw something on this page that I thought would work, but I don't, I did this in, like, my living room, which doesn't have good light, so <laughs> I'm not really sure what my intent there was. Maybe one of a kind. I think we can skip that. Okay, so if I go like this, we're gonna keep this week pretty simple. Um, I'm sure you can hear that I sound quite a bit better. Um, maybe there was something else in here. Quite a bit better, still kind of recovering from COVID um, and hoping to be 100% next week, but I'm trying really hard not to jump back into things too soon and really give my body time to heal 100%. Um, and I've been pretty low energy all week, so um, maybe we'll give up on the functional boxes for now. Maybe that's enough. Um, I do usually have a box to keep my calorie intake, but I don't really think I care this week just because I'm recovering. Oh, I like this one for this. I'm going to keep that and do it somewhere. Okay. Um, so I don't really care about that. I just want to kind of start getting into the rhythm of moving again every day. And kind of as I feel like, if as I feel better, to start moving more, you know. So I'm going to put this. You know, I like putting a reminder on Thursday. Thursdays are pretty busy, so I don't usually get to work out, so. Okay. So let's see. What if I put this down here? And, you know, I think it's all the feels that has those boxes that I like to use for screen time, but I don't see a color that's gonna work for our color palette except for the yellow. I've already got quite a bit of yellow. Well, maybe I just won't do that this week. And we'll just like have more fun, you know? It's okay to have fun. Um, I do this. Do like a little ice cream cart. And I'm not going to the beach or anything this week. I just we're getting, I consider fall, I usually start like using fall seasonal stuff in my planner sometime in the middle of September. So I'm kind of running low on times to use all these summer stickers. I mean, I could still use them whenever I want, you know, but I know that soon I'll want to go fall. So I wanted to make sure that I'm using all of the fun summer theme stickers that I bought. That way 
away. I don't have to wait a whole year to use them. You know? Um, I think we might just have this like going off the page. I would totally wear that swimsuit in real life. Um, I'm gonna put this there. And maybe like this there. There's nothing cohesive about this spread. It's just kind of like random. I don't know how much I like that. I'm thinking. I think I might pull this one out and get a, just a plain black sticker. Let's see what. Um, stick with a little bit more of a neutral quote. I think that'll help center this spread. Let's say some good. Hmm. Maybe if I add in some washi, just like. like I love this one could use that kind of add some interest except I'd want it to go this way you know and then maybe some up here just so that it's not so boring some of this yellow down. No, it's the bright yellow. Okay, let's see. Maybe like... Like that. And then I can add some up here. fun. That has helped kind of ground it, even though this probably should be up here if we're gonna stick to the stick to the rhythm. Let's see. Do, do, do. There. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay. Oh, maybe I need I do have these like anxiety trackers. Um, this orange might be a good fit. Oops. That, that way there's just space taken up. Huh. I think there's too many different color palettes going on up here. I think it's just too much. Alright, so let's take this off and I got this pink from here right so let's see what other pinks we can add mm -mm. I think maybe even if I could get it down to like two different colors that might be the way to go. I could go to this this um, teal instead of the pink because I do have quite a bit of that left. Um, let's see. Just trying to look at my Okay. 
go with the teal. And I think this is gonna help make the spread so much less chaotic. Um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, this is already making such a big difference. Okay, so now I just gotta go to the reminders. Is that in this book or is it in a different book? I might be in a different book. Hold on. I don't think it's in mood tracking, isn't it? Maybe? Yeah. Okay, so it's earlier in the book. Let's see. I know there was a teal one. I only specifically picked the pink one. Please let go of this pink one. So you, this actually fits better, this reminder. You don't have to be perfect to be you because this week I'm not gonna be perfect because um, I'm still a little sick. See, that made such a big difference, just bringing in that teal. I also think we'll bring in maybe like this at the top of here. Maybe instead of, I don't know, hold on, I'm thinking. No, those are all pretty wintry and a little too busy. Um, and I don't have any like real pattern ones in that color. Okay. So we could put this up here, but it's, then it's just like a lot of blue. So I think we're gonna just not do that. It is really cute the way it's turned out. I like it a lot better now that I've cut down on the amount of colors going on. Um, one thing I think I might do, this is more teal, right? So like, this is big enough. I was gonna cut this box down. No, it's not, okay. I was gonna cut it down and put this over it so that it had a little color, but I think we're just gonna leave that. Um, maybe like the present is a gift and I could do like one. That's like a lot of sayings right next to each other. Um, I could use this. And then move this over a little bit. Like that. And then I can write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could put my screen time in there. I'm not wild about the fact that it randomly adds foil for no reason. Let's see if there's like a full box that's I could use this one. I think I like that better 
through then. Adding the, yeah, I don't, I don't like adding foil when there's no foil anywhere else. So we'll just do that. Yeah, that's really cute. I do feel like something is missing over here, but maybe I can take, maybe this needs to be centered. This over here. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and get this onto the paper. Sorry if the frame got messed up a little bit. I had to pause for a second to take a call. And it may have messed up where my camera was lined up, but hopefully not. So ahead and get this up and then we'll just go ahead and start putting stuff down um the tricky part is gonna be getting these exactly where they were so we're just gonna go ahead and put these down it might change up this dynamic a little bit Should have whited out these checklists before I started doing this, but it happens to the best of us. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with that. I feel like that's not right either, is it? Okay, hold on. Do, 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 do. Put this there. There. Okay. I think it's too far to the left. Let's see. Yeah, but it's gonna be okay. I can put this right there. And then take that. That is the tricky thing about doing spreads on the wax paper sometimes is making sure they're lined up the way you wanted them to be if they're not touching. It's easier to get everything lined up if it's all interconnected, but sometimes I don't like that look, so. Or I don't, it's not that I don't like the look, I don't want it for what I'm trying to do. Oh no. Okay, done. And then gonna put you like right there and I'm gonna put him as a slight slant yeah um, this goes here um, I think I'm gonna move this slightly over to like right Close to that box as I can get it. Okay. Then I'm gonna put the ball coming in that way. And then I'm gonna put this right there. And get my ice cream cone. So that's good. Um, I'm gonna say like that. Kind of covered up Monday, but that's okay. Um, let's see, some eleven there. And where did these sunglasses go? Put you right there. Okay. Scissors, cut everybody down. Bam. Oh, I didn't get the 
sunglasses. Hold on. Okay. And then I'm gonna get. Yeah, I've still got some back planning to do for this one for the week that I was first sick with COVID. Hoping to knock that out this weekend. Now that I'm feeling a lot better. Um, okay. Um, kind of want to use this and put it over here. Just because it's a good chunk of a sticker. And now I can't really tell what that is anymore. All right, guys. I know I normally do boxes here, but I don't think that's necessary for this week just because there's already so much going on. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a great time. If you did, check out the playlist I have of other fitness spreads that I've done. It's got both that uh, Happy Planner dashboard and the Happy Planner fitness layout that I was using previously. I don't remember exactly when I switched over. It hasn't been that long though. So if you're looking for more fitness, traditional fitness layouts, check out that video. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.